What's up? We're going to continue uh, learning about adding in articles in WordPress and editing those articles to rank with Rank Math. We previously did a video on uh, Shapia and a Shapia tutorial on creating articles, and now we're going to enter that article in WordPress. And so let's get started. First, we'll go to we'll go to our WordPress blog. We'll log in and click Posts and Add New. Once we get to the Add New page, just here, uh, after we have copied our article in from Shapia or wherever you're copying in your article from, uh, this is where you will enter in your article. And so you just want to, to add that in, uh, just paste it in right there at the top. And so now you've got a nice clean look here we've got all of the images and the article is posted in in completion here again we talked about moving this image and so we will we will uh, we'll move these images at the appropriate time uh, now the first thing you want to do is kind of get an idea about uh, about how you want to to edit things uh, first things first, but uh, let's go and save draft. We do want to save our work. We don't want to have to come in and redo any work, so you want to save this. Uh, we see our header or our, our title is in good shape. I like this to be in the green, so we'll, we'll be in good shape there. Uh, we have done our keyword research and made sure that was in the title, so we've got viral TikTok hashtags as our keyword. And so we'll come over uh, to the next tab over and we'll enter our focused keyword. Viral TikTok hashtags. And you'll see you'll get some more information there that's needed. But uh, we'll, we'll work through that later. Right now we're dealing with the, the images. I like to deal with the images first and foremost. If we have any problems with the 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 headline or the the title, we can work through that. This will give you some ideas about what you want to do there. Uh, too many words here. We see the word count's kind of high there. I don't worry so much about that, but it's good to kind of rein in all of these things to make sure that they are they are all looking good. But uh, let's worry about our, our images now. Now we've copied this over in HTML format. Uh, the images are basically in HTML format, format and they're not really permanently attached. They are attached uh, as, as links, if you will. And so I like to add these in as uh, permanent images. And so the first thing I want to do is go and save these into a file. Now I've got a file saved just for this particular site and so we'll go here to Realty Banker and basically just save all of these images into that file and so we'll save this image same file save these images in right click and just saving these images into the same file Save image, save it to the file. And now once you've got all your images in, we want to grab a, a nice featured image here. And you noticed I, I kind of clicked here to make a space in between our title and the introduction. I like to add in our featured image there. And so where I like to get my featured images is uh, pixel, pixel.com. That's P E X. ELS.com, pixels.com. And so we'll come here and maybe viral video. See if there's something that pops up uh, with viral video. Now I like to get something really attractive for the featured video. That's, that's kind of a nice picture there. Uh, but I don't just like to just grab the first one. I'll, I'll kind of shoot down through here and and see if there's some others that I like now I like to get a good uh, horizontal p 
picture for the featured pick and the top pick. The verticals, uh, when I when I get in here and do a vertical pick, I really have to size them down to make them fit where I where I, I like them to fit. And so we just search through here to a bit looking for a nice horizontal. There's a nice horizontal picture. We'll search just a few more to see if we see anything that we like better. Don't see anything right offhand. Certainly there are there are several that we have seen so far that are that are adequate. But we like to we like to be kind of kind of choosy about these featured picks because it's the first thing that people will see when they come to your blog. Uh, the first thing they're going to see when they they look at your article. There's a there's a nice picture there. Uh, we'll we'll scroll down just a few more and and if we don't see anything better, I think we'll we'll choose that last one. There's looks like a kind of a, a TikTok making video there okay I don't see anything there so we'll scroll up and we'll gla we'll grab this last last one that kind of stood out to us right here <clears throat> and so you just click free download and it will begin downloading you see it begins downloading here I just click this little file here and we'll just drag this over to the same file that we saved the other photos in and so now we've got all our photos saved into this file we'll go back to our <clears throat> our main blog and then we'll start adding these photos in and so you go here and you just click this plus and you'll click image and so the first thing you want to do is I like to click media library you could click the upload button but sometimes that doesn't work real well for me and then I click upload upload files and then we'll go and select these files that we have saved to our computer Go into this Realty Banker or whatever file you've chosen to save your images in. And you'll go in there and you will select the pictures, all of the pictures that you have that you have elected to put into this block, uh, including the featured image that we just grabbed. Click open and it will begin to upload these featured pics into our into our block. And so one by one, they'll begin to upload and add into the blog area. As these pictures uh, start adding in, what we want to do is, is come over and edit the image attributes. And so this one's finished uh, adding in. And so we'll come over and we'll begin to place our our uh, our tag or our keyword into these these description uh, boxes here and now uh, this is has become this caption button has become uh, a center of SEO uh, controversy and so this may be something you want to describe these videos real well uh, a lot of times I, I just don't use captions I just uh, enter in these other three fields because I, I just don't like the captions in on the on the article itself. The 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 information in the article is what's important to me. Uh, but we do want to replace that title section uh, with the keyword. And so we just begin to come in and fill in all of these photos uh, to make sure the attributes are reflective of our keyword. And now I'm sure there's some folks out there that. Uh, that have a better approach to this and and we want to we want to get some input how do you go about entering in this information and how do you go about doing SEO for your blog entries and then once we get through entering in on the photos that we just added in we'll go back to our featured image we'll select that it's added in looks real nice now you can size these however you like to. I like to size them right there to the end of add caption. Now if it's a it's a vertical image uh, instead of horizontal, uh, we we come back and, and a lot of times I'll I'll size that down to half again because the vertical images just take up so much space. And so right here we'll add that in and then we'll just move on to the second image. And instead of leaving this linked image, 
what we do is we go in and replace it with one that is uploaded and so we'll open media uh, library and just grab that same picture and select that and now it is permanently attached rather than attached as a, a linked image or an HTML image and so we size that down and go on to the next image and we'll replace this one as well open media library and we just grab these same images that we've saved to the media library to replace the HTML images or the the images that are linked uh, I just don't like a linked image because linked images have a tendency to 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 disappear or to be to be removed uh, broken links happen and when you when you get a broken link on an image that it, it causes the image to fail and I just don't want a failed image so we permanently attach them again we go to upload and I think that's the image that we were looking at and just moving on to this last one replace this last image picture of the computer screen and coffee cup we've got these sized down and so this last image I didn't really like where it was placed and so we're going to we're going to just delete this out add it back in right here just uh, go to the end of this paragraph hit the enter button click the plus and image and we go back to the media library and we were looking at the picture here with the computer screen select that and we just resize that size that down everything looks really nice there I'm happy with this layout and so we've we've pretty much taken care of our photos now uh, we want to at this point go in and take care of our featured image and so what we do is we come over here to the the uh, settings wheel click that settings wheel and we're, we want to be in this post section not the block section but the post section and we want to come down and set featured image click that set featured image and again this is the high quality image that we picked out and you see here it shows the image quality here and this is a super high quality image now we will go in and we'll do some some work to to reduce the the size of this uh, uh, for SEO purposes but we do want this high quality as opposed to perhaps a, a, a lower quality now this would probably work it's it's decent quality they're not all like that but these are these are they're better quality but this is this is the high quality image that we want for our featured image and so we've got that set now we'll go down into this rank math section and we'll look at uh, problems within rank math uh, the first thing you see here and, and just work your way down through here it's it's it all kind of works uh, together you want to focus your your keyword it's not found in your SEO meta description and so the first thing we'll do here as far as taking care of this first section is is dealing with the meta section and that's going to be here in this in this edit snippet button okay so you'll click on this edit snippet uh, and you see that we've got a title we've got the permalink and uh, we've got a, a large permalink and the permalink is too large so the first thing we want to do is size that down uh, we want to keep our keywords viral TikTok hashtags perhaps uh, the power of viral TikTok hashtags in 2023 and just delete the rest of this out and now we've got it down where we're in the green we're looking good and so we're in good shape now the title uh, we see is a little bit above that it's just barely uh, I, we, we could we could tweak that and work on that a little bit I like that title I, I don't think we're gonna mess with that and everything doesn't have to be perfect uh, but when these titles are a little bit long, a lot of times they, the, they're cut off in the search results. And we saw that some in Shapia. Uh, then we'll go down to this description set, setting. When you close this out, it saves the permalink, and so you're in good shape there. I like to just go back periodically and save draft, and so we're still saving that draft. We're making sure that our work is saved. 
Now for that, that section here for the meta, I like to go down into this first section and, and see what the article is describing. And it says in this article we'll discuss, and, it, and it, a lot of these articles start out like that, in this article we'll discuss. And so I just grab this section here and I copy that and I go over to this edit snippet button and I go down to the meta description and I just copy and paste that in there. Now we want this to be 160 or under and so we'll need to edit some of this out. And this article will discuss the importance of TikTok hashtags, how to research the competition, identify trends, understand your audience, create your own hashtags and develop an effective hashtag strategy. Now we can go ahead and, and get out this, get rid of this let's get started. Uh, in this article uh, we could shorten that down to say this article will discuss Is basically we're describing what the article is talking about. This article will discuss the importance of TikTok hashtags, how uh, to research competition, identify trends, understand your audience, and then we will we will uh, we will slip in here and we'll do uh, and. And we'll end this right here so that we don't overdo it. That's got us in the green. And we will, uh, there's more to the article, but these are some things that are identified there. Uh, we could we could add a, a longer description, but I like these to be in the green. And Rank Math likes them to be in the green. So, so let's just go with that. And that will be our description. Uh, close that out. And... Save as draft again. Uh, we're here. We look like we've got a rank math of 73. It's an orange, and, a, and we want this to be in the green as well. So uh, our keyword is in the meta description. Our, uh, let's double check. Uh, this article will discuss the importance of TikTok hashtags. And so the keyword is not in the meta. We'll go back and make sure uh, viral. TikTok hashtags is in the meta and so we need a viral TikTok hashtags viral TikTok hashtags and you see this is already turning green here and so that's that's good we'll discuss the importance of viral TikTok hashtags we're still under the limit here uh, it's not so much green but we're still 146 out of 60 and so we're in good shape close that out and we'll move on down to these additional sections. Now this section uh, link out to external resources. This is a, a, an easy thing to solve here. Uh, you, you, you really need to have some some sections in uh, your previous posts and if you don't you need to have some sections that you create uh, for uh, outbound links and so what I do is I just go into my my articles in here uh, perhaps the 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 most recent article and I will grab my links going out to YouTube Facebook Twitter uh, here at the bottom and it's just uh, just a kind of a a a, a little uh, a little closing statement and so I copy that and we'll go and we'll paste that in at the bottom of our article and we've got our outbound links and you see that go ahead that's that's turning green here we're up to 86 here we're in great shape wow uh, we're getting we're getting really close to closing this out I like to add a I like to add a little realty banker image there if I can if I can locate that uh, if you've got more images, you just click this load button down here and load more images until you find the image that you're looking for. Uh, that's kind of close. Uh, there's one I've got that's got a, a dark background. Continue to look for that, that image with the dark background. I hope I can find this. 
All right, here we go. And we will add in our, our logo. I like to resize that down close to what maybe the bold text is there. And so now we've got a little logo there at the bottom. Uh, and uh, we'll go down and check these final sections. Uh, this talks about using the content AI. I don't really use this content AI. Um, now, if you have purchased the content AI and you like to kind of work through your focus keywords and look through that, uh, that's, that's your prerogative. That's, that's not something I, I use. And so we'll skip that. Uh, no content AI. Moving on. Title reliability focus keyword does not appear at the beginning of the SEO title. Now we talked about that. And so uh, this says it doesn't contain a positive or negative sentiment. That's always good to have these things in here. Maybe something to create some excitement. The power of TikTok hashtags. Uh, and so we could we could move this around. We're at 66 and 86 now. Power of TikTok hashtags. So we could we could copy this and place it at the beginning and see how this works out. Get your videos seen in 2023. And so let's try this. Uh, we, we eliminated several words there, and so maybe we've shortened this down. Let's save it as a draft. We're at 66 and 88. Let's see where we're at if we're, after we save it. And so it just killed it down uh, to 47. And so that's not that's not really good. The power of viral TikTok hashtags. Uh, get your videos seen in 2023. Uh, let's try how to at the beginning of that. See if it see if it helps. If it doesn't, we'll revert back and we'll just call it a day. Uh, let's save draft. Okay, we're, we're up to 73. And so we've got our focused keyword at the beginning. Uh, we still have some other th issues here. Uh, no power word, no positive or negative sentiment. And sometimes we just don't have space for that. Uh, so go back here and make sure our, our information still looks good. It looks like everything looks good. We're at 73 and 88, so we improved over, I think it was 63 here, and so we went up a little bit. The power of viral TikTok hashtags, how to get your videos seen in 2023, I like it. And so now we will do one more quick uh, look through to look for misspelled words or uh, perhaps some some headers here that, that aren't right. And... We don't see anything. We will call it a day on this. All right. Everything looks good on this. And so we will save draft one more time and we'll go ahead and publish this article and we'll move on to the next one. Uh, you publish this article, click the publish button again, and your article at this point is published and live. And so once you you edit back out of here. If you refresh the page, see here the power of viral TikTok hashtags, how to get your videos seen in 2023. Great, great. And so if we want to, if we want to check and make sure our featured images are looking good, uh, we can, we can check that here. Uh, just go to your blog. I always like to kind of see how everything is, is posting out. Uh, everything looks real good there. Now, image optimization is really kind of the last step. And I take care of this myself. Uh, I have some folks that write, but uh, I take care of this. And, and if you want to, if you want to optimize your images, I think a, a great source for image optimization is this Robin Image Optimizer. It's free. And uh, I've used this tool for some time. It seems to work really well. And so, our images are optimized at 90% right now. You just click this Optimize button, Optimize Now, and it just starts optimizing your photos for you. And so it just goes in and starts uh, reducing the file sizes, which is great. And it does a great job of reducing these file sizes. 
and so I, I recommend this plugin, right. Robin Image Optimizer. And uh, so you ought to be running uh, an Im image optimizer. You ought to be running some kind of of uh, a caching plugin uh, like Lightspeed Cache. Now others have uh, have mentioned uh, some of these uh, these uh, m these caching plugins that kind of that kind of market uh, how quick they are. But I'm going to be honest with you, this this light speed is is just as fast and just as good as anything out there and it's free you don't have any problems with it uh, it's just a, it's a wonderful plug-in for the most part now if you get to tweaking and want to add super speed to your site and you start adding in uh, more of the features from this then you could run into some problems but uh, overall it works really well and so uh, that's that's pretty much the process that I use to add these posts in and create uh, high quality uh, looking images and posts and you just click this article and of course you see you go down through here uh, I use a table of contents plugin it does a great job uh, and it's free as well if you if you are interested in that then leave me a comment I'll try to reply about that the article looks great and so we will move on to the next project. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you watching my videos. Uh, what a what a wonderful opportunity it is to to learn together and to grow and and just to do some things uh, that are that are positive for our business and growth. Thank you again for tuning in.